Hi guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial for these water marble nails and I'll be using these for Essie polishes. I'll give you all the names in that soon. Um, water marble is something I've done a lot of times before but it hasn't always worked out perfectly but I have over the years discovered easier ways of doing it. So I will add these in as I go along, little tips and tricks and I hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Alright, I'll give you a quick run through of what you'll need. You'll need a base coat and a top coat, four colours of the same colour family, a dotting tool, some cuticle oil, some room temperature water, not too hot and not too cold, some nail polish remover, some white polish, one or two small brushes and some cotton tips. Start off by applying a base coat. I used Essie's first base. Next, paint all your nails white. This will help the other colours stand out nice and bright. This is a very messy design to clean up, so I've applied some cuticle oil around the outside of my nail to make removal of the nail polish a little bit easier. You can also use Vaseline, or else you could always try taping the outside of your nails. This is quite a lengthy process though, so I find it's easier just to use the oil. Make sure you only get the cuticle oil on the skin because if it gets onto the nail, the nail polish won't adhere as well. Alright, so I am using After School Boy Blazer and Naughty Nautical, as well as Bikini Sotini and Parker Perfect. Now get a cup of room temperature water. I've heard that it's good to let the water sit in the room for like an hour beforehand to make sure it's the right temperature. But to be honest, I ain't got time for that and what I just do is get some cold water and add a tiny bit of hot water to it so it's slightly colder than lukewarm, if that makes any sense at all. Lots of people also use McDonald's cups for doing this design with because they're disposable and it doesn't matter if they get destroyed in the process. Whatever you use, just make sure it doesn't have too big a surface area because otherwise you might end up wasting polish and we can't have that. Get your first colour and carefully let a drop fall into the water. Sometimes it's good to hold it there a little bit longer to let the polish drain from the brush. Then drop a second colour in the middle of that. Wait for each colour to spread before putting in the next colour and then keep going. I used 8 drops altogether. I used a dotting tool for this part but you could also use an orange wood stick or a hair clip, just something that's got quite a small end. Just design any pattern you want into the polish. There are heaps of different options for this. This is just a generalized tutorial, but I know that Pick a Punch Polish has some really cool ideas, so I'll link her channel down below. Next, place a finger very carefully in the area of the design you want on your nail. Try not to let your finger go too deep into the water, because this just means more nail polish gets on your skin, and that means more cleanup. Blow on the surface of the water to help it dry. Then use a dotting tool or a cotton wool bud or something similar to pick up the extra polish. Now your nail should be looking something like this. You want to get some of that polish off now before it starts drying too much and I found the quickest and easiest way to do this was to use a tissue. Because of the cuticle oil it slides off a lot easier than normal and it just takes a few rubs to remove at least the bulk of the polish. We'll clean the rest up properly later on. Now do the same thing for the other fingers. If you want to try save some time and polish put in two fingers instead of one. It can be harder to get the exact design you wanted on your nails this way, but it does work. Now for a bit of a clean up. Dip a cotton tip in nail polish remover and clean the excess polish around the outside of your nails. Try not to go too close to the actual nail as you can rub off the design. It's best to do the details with a little brush. Alright, so this is my sneaky little thing I do to fix up any mistakes. When I pulled my middle finger out of the water, some of the blue spilled onto it and the grey is not looking that great at this stage. So what I'm going to do is get the grey nail polish and using a brush carefully apply it over the bits where it looks a bit patchy. Then do the same with any other colours that aren't looking quite right. It will change your colour slightly but it always looks better in the end. The other part of this trick is that you can also add in any other colours that didn't quite make it into the design. For example, I didn't think there's enough blue on this ring finger, so I'm just adding it in in the same style as the design. Now apply a top coat. 
And that's it. Water marble is such a cool look. It's so unique and it comes out different every time and I absolutely love it. It is one of the trickiest designs to master though, so don't get disheartened if it doesn't work straight away. Try all different polishes. It's best to get in brand new polishes because they're nice and fresh and runny. Thick polishes will not work. You can't use the polishes you used when you were seven. Sorry. Once you get the hang of it though, you will spend so much time making cool designs with different colours and adding dots and studs and leopard print and zebra print and it's just the possibilities are endless. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you later.